Antibiotics have been around for a while now, and really they're basically substances that fight against infection. They're used for a very large variety of infections, particularly bacterial infections. They are relatively or completely inactive against viral infections. Bronchitis is often viral. Sinusitis is often viral. Even ear infections are often viral and don't require antibiotics at all. There are lots of symptomatic things people can do to make themselves feel better if they have any of those conditions, such as a cold or bronchitis. They can um, go home, rest, um, drink plenty of fluids, breathe in some steam, use a humidifier, use over-the-counter remedies if you've got aches or you're congested, and your pharmacist or healthcare provider could advise you about those. The rules for antibiotics are take them exactly as they're prescribed. Take it at the right dose, the right time. Don't stop taking it earlier, even if you start to feel better, and don't share antibiotics with anybody else. Antibiotic resistance is quite simply when the germ has mutated or changed in such a way that the antibiotic can no longer kill it and can't cure the infection anymore. Resistance can, causes over 2 million illnesses in the United States alone per year and over 23,000 um, deaths. And so it can be a very serious and even a life-threatening problem for patients. The take-home message is that everybody should be concerned about antibiotic resistance, patients and healthcare providers. Patients need to understand that not all infections are treated or cured by prescriptions for antibiotics, and healthcare providers need to be careful not to over-prescribe or misuse antibiotics.